This video is going to focus on a technique for using the assignments feature in Microsoft Teams to do attendance. Disclaimer, this attendance data does not flow back into the school information system. This is just inside of Teams. However, once it's set up, it does automatically calculate attendance for you and it's really, really easy to deliver every day. The first thing that you need to do is get here to the main Microsoft Apps page. Once you're here, you need to open Forms. I've already set up some attendance forms. Let me show you what the concept is. The concept is that for every class, you make an attendance form for each day. So if I have my class four days in a week, I would make four forms. If I have four total subjects I'm teaching or classes, I would have 16 of these. It does seem like a lot of forms, but why do you care? They don't take up any space and they're really, really quick to make. Here's how you make a form. New quiz. Make sure it's a quiz and not an actual form because the quiz has additional features that you're going to want. Class attendance. March 20th, for example. Add new choice. Are you here? Yes. You only need yes. Now, you make the one form and then every week or every day, you just go in and you copy it and change the date. It's pretty easy. So once you make the first form, everything else is just a copy. Just to give you an example, I was able to make all four of these in less than a minute. So it's really easy to do your entire week in just a few minutes and now you have all of your forms. Obviously, to make it easier, you could do like biology class attendance or biology section one, whatever, just so that you know what the form is and what the relationship it is, what relationship it has to the class. I'm going to go into my fake class here and to load the attendance in, what you want to do is you're going to join the class every day. So every day when you join the class, you need to log in a couple minutes before your students. You go to assignments and you can time this if you want, create quiz and you choose the daily attendance form. And let's say that your class starts at 8 o'clock a.m. and attendance is due by 8.05 based on school policy. Be nice, make it 8.06 a.m. and assign it. It's automatically assigned to all students and this is what the students see. Let me pull this up. It's posted now. And I hit view assignment on the student. Are you here? Yes. Submit. And it's done. And it will give you, give the students a nice little rocket ship or something like that. And if they're late, the way this form is set up by default, they can still submit it. But the best part is it will show it as um, past due and it will show you the time that it was past due. So the student can see, this is the student's view, they can see that their attendance is turned in, it's done. On your end, as the teacher, once attendance is finished, you can click on the summary here and it will show you who's turned it in. And if any student sends it in late, it will actually tell you how many minutes late they were. So that's really, really handy. And if you wanted to, you could add some scoring to it and you could actually score your attendance on the side and you could produce um, you could produce a total attendance value for students, meaning if they did attendance all four classes, maybe they have 20 points. And that is also really, really easy to do. All right, this time I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna do the student demo. I'm gonna do the same thing and show you some more options. So I'm gonna create attendance again, quiz, and I'm just gonna choose this one. I'm gonna add a category and I'm gonna call it attendance. This way I can categorize the assessment. Okay, 
I needed to hit enter. You can put instructions if you want. It's not really necessary because the, the form when they open it is very, very clear. Now, if I go to, let me set the date. So I want to make it due this morning at, let's just say t attendance is due at 9.35 a.m. Hit edit here and you have some more options. If you wanted to, you could once a week preload all of your attendance for every class. You can schedule this to post automatically. You don't even have to do it. So if you wanted to, you could go in and say, uh, this one is going to post at 9. I need to make some changes here because it's 9.32 while I'm doing this. So this is going to post for all students at 9.40. I could do this for all of these assignments. So I could literally do this on Sunday evening or Monday morning for all of my classes for the whole week, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Due date, I'm going to set for... 9.45, that gives them five minutes. If I click this button, they can't do it anymore. So this will not let them uh, do late attendance. This will just close it out. So if I do that, now they can't access it at all. They either do attendance or they don't. And then I hit schedule, and now it's scheduled, and it will post automatically at 9.40 for all students. I'm going to jump back into forms and I'm going to open up one of the forms. Let's open up this one. If you want to do points, what you need to do is on the first form that you make, decide what your daily attendant point value is worth and put it in. So maybe it's five. So now five points are available when attendance is done. That's pretty easy. You don't have to do points, but it goes on the form. And then whenever you make a new assignment, you can start tallying all the points up. And um, then actually that will go into the overall grade report. And so you can see by person, you'll get to see their attendance grow in value. So again, that's super helpful and you can export it to Excel. And now you actually have a full attendance record just by making these little attendance quizzes. I hope that's helpful. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to ask me.